was a fickle ass teenager without the attitude. Like I was like the kids now, the millennials now, who just don't give a fuck if they keep a job or not. I just wasn't as mean about it. You know what I'm saying? Like I just wasn't fucking rude. I would quit on your ass if you pissed me off, but I wouldn't be rude unless you gave me reason to be rude. A couple of managers got cussed out, but they had it coming. (laughs) See, that's the thing. Like, I don't want to go to jail. I don't like uniforms. (laughs) I fucking hate uniforms. I don't like not being able to do my hair, even if I want to wear it messy. It's too many, you know, negative variables about that kind of that scenario. It doesn't work for me. You know, I'm not going to like the food. I'm going to end up fucking a guard to try to get some decent food because I'm going to do what I have to do. (laughs) You know, I'm going to be thinking of every scenario in Orange is the New Black that I can figure out. I will start a gang. I am going to (laughs) uh, throw people under the bus, claw my way to the top. (laughs) Like, you know, I don't know, but I'm just not cut out for that shit unless I'm the leader. So, you know, I'll probably have to get a couple of teeth knocked out, some scratches on my breast and all that kind of shit. And that's just not cute. My, my, My face might get messed up in that. It's not a good look for me. So, you know, I try to keep it cool. Here's the thing about jobs. I never worked fast food. Um, I worked like the cookie company and the yogurt factory. Like I was, I was strategic about my, you know, I mean, that was, it's fast food, but it's not like, you know, McDonald's Burger King fast food. I guess if you could call it fast food, I mean, you go up and you can get a cookie. It's not like you have to bake it. So I'm thinking that's fast food. So those jobs were kind of posh to me. And one job I absolutely could not stand out of all. I'm trying to think like of all the, all the, all the jobs I've had. And I'm talking, I've had a lot of jobs. I'm one year. I had nine W2s. Seriously. Flaky as shit. But, (laughs) you know, I was just figuring shit out. One job I really could not stand was telesales, telemarketing. It was telemarketing. Some people still call it telemarketing, but they say telesales to make it sound better. I don't give a shit how you make it sound. It's awful. Awful, awful, awful. Calling people in the evenings, bothering them when they think it's an important phone call. (laughs) And they answer the phone. And they're like, what the? They lose their ever-loving minds because you're trying to sell them some shit they know they don't want. And they're pissed off. You just interrupted their dinner. And after a while, because it's your job, you get so freaking desperate to do your job correctly because your people in the call center are breathing down your damn neck. You got stats. They're listening in on the calls. It's like, you know, you would think you worked for the fucking Pentagon. Listening in on my calls? (laughs) Is it that serious to sell this fucking security system to them at their house? You know, it's just, it's, it's, it becomes a bit much, but then you get caught up in this shit and you're like, let me try to get some sales. So now you're mad at the customer for being mad at you for bothering them. It's like, you know, and then you get this flippant tone, like, Hey, good evening. May I speak to Mr. John? Hi, Mr. John. This is Stella. And I'm with Safety Streets. Yes. And we have a great special for you today. If you just buy the door camera and blah, and you're going into your spiel and then they cut you off. Because they don't want to hear it. They're pissed. What? No. My house came with a security system. You know, and they're all mean and nasty to you. And you're pissed off at them for being pissed off at you for doing a job you don't want to do. But you have to do it 
or you won't eat. (laughs) It's a vicious cycle. And before long, you start to hate people and you just start to sound dry. You're like, (sighs) good evening, Mr. John. Mm -hmm. This is Stella. I'm with Safety Streets and boy, do we have an offer for you today. Uh, If you get a door camera and I'm sorry, what? You don't want it? Oh, really? Really, you don't want it? I mean, really, you you really don't want it. Like, so you don't need to secure your home, sir. You don't want to feel safe on the street? You don't want to feel safe in your bedroom when you're at home or when your wife's out of town and you have your mistress over? You don't want to feel safe? You don't want to put the alarm on and know if your wife's coming home early, sir? You mean you're good, so... You couldn't use any kind of safety. You got a gun? You own a gun. Do do you own a gun, sir? Oh, you don't? Okay. What do you have by your bed? A sword? Oh, a bat? Huh? Is it even really wood? Or is it metal? Or did you get your son's plastic bat from out the backyard yesterday and you think you're going to do some damage with that? You know, you become nasty and you just want to fight with the people. It's... It's horrible. It's a horrible, horrible way to go. Well, I just want to share that with you. Thanks for listening to the Boxing Stella podcast.